Sam Dickinson is one of the most curious and interesting defensemen for the 2024 NHL draft. To me, he is a work in progress with a very wide range of possibilities for an NHL career. Dickinson is at his best when barreling up the ice and around the offensive zone, and he's able to generate a massive head of steam and showcases his ability to create space for himself often. His ability to patrol the offensive zone on his edges, protecting the puck and driving into scoring areas is high end when it comes out. He's a confident puck carrier making little chip and chase plays to get through pressure and keep players back on their heels. The moments of skill to evade pressure on four checks is also high end and I think should be nurtured and improved in order to project to the NHL as well as he could. Defensively, Dickinson shows intent to step up and pinch in the offensive zone and his ability to cover the front of the net is there at times, showcasing potentially a strong, simple floor. On offensive zone turnovers, he can be found quickly thinking of some level of dangerous play to create, whether stepping up for individual shot chances or cross-ice playmaking to elevate others. But for me, I am quite a bit lower on Dickinson than many, as the details of his game bring huge question marks to think about. Dickinson is often a player that will get the puck as far away from him as possible as quickly as he can without really pre-scanning or calculating a play to maintain possession. Even with time to think and a clear passing option, he'll flip pucks to nobody in the neutral zone, or worse, directly to his opponent in the defensive zone. For all the talk about a talented puck rusher, his finer skill moments and ability to set settle and control pucks can be up or down in very important areas of the ice. It may just be that London is artificially limiting Dickinson's approach to the game, but regardless, to me, it's a huge question mark and a huge factor in his results that limit his on-ice play. He was among the leaders in my entire data set at failing on offensive transitions, especially amongst highly rated players in the draft, and oftentimes the video just speaks for itself. There are also issues with his defensive pressure application, often relinquishing a lot of space and key areas of the defensive zone and allowing far too much control and space and time that I think likely gets exposed at higher levels. So many moments, I just wanted a little bit more oomph, to use a scientific term from Sam Dickinson, that just very, very rarely came around. And this is exemplified in its very low rates of hits, and defensive zone cycle breaks. And with Dickinson, there are certainly confident and highly skilled flashes of talent that are hard to ignore, but his map of the ice feels highly incomplete very often, and his confidence and skill level can certainly betray him at extremely inopportune times. There is something here with Dickinson, however. I just don't really know what it is, and there is a team out there that could get themselves a great puck-moving defenseman with offensive skill, but in my view, I think there's quite a ways to go in order to get his overall game to that point. Point.